Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've got a set that I personally really enjoyed. I'm a big Western fan and as you probably guessed by the title, uh, this is obviously for Have Gun Will Travel, uh, the complete remastered series on DVD. So this set, we're coming back to America here. This set is actually released in America. No need to go someplace special to get this one. I am a big fan of old Western shows. I mean, I'm a big fan of media and physical media, as you probably well know, but the old Western shows do hold a special place in my heart. Uh, this one I actually hadn't seen till I blind bought it at Walmart the other day. I had seen it on sale. I thought it was a pretty good price for the entire series. It was around 30 bucks. The entire series, um, it's a huge case, um, but I actually was pretty impressed with it. And I'm gonna break it down here for you um, and get into this a little more, but uh, Have Gun Will Travel, and the reason why I was interested in it is I'm a big Star Trek fan as well. And Gene Roddenberry actually got started writing for this show before he even made Star Trek. Um, and that's kind of how I found out about it. And that was a little bit of the history. And I didn't know that. And I'm sure some of you don't know that. But that's where he actually got to start. It was writing for Have Gun, Will Travel. I didn't know that at the time. And I thought that was pretty interesting. So I was excited to see how this was. It's a great show. It's a great Western. It's one of those things that it's not super long. Every episode's not an hour and a half or an hour. Um, most of your episodes, you're going to fall in around that 30 minute mark. Uh, some of them 40, 45, things like that. But it, it's, it's been great. Um, I finished several of the seasons in the set already and I've enjoyed all of it. Uh, the actor that's actually in this, Richard Boone, is actually a really good actor. Uh, he does a great job with Paladin, who is the main character in this, uh, portraying him. And he's not, I went into it assuming he was kind of like a bounty hunter that was just going out and, you know, hey, this person needs shot or this person. And it's not. There's a lot of episodes in there that he does things to help people. And uh, he ended up learning a little bit more about Paladin's character himself, and he's a really nice guy. The stuff he does to help people, it's, it's not all about money for him. A lot of the times he'll explain to people that he needs to get paid, but then on the end run, he doesn't get paid, um, or he helps them for free or things like that. And really, really enjoyable show. Um, I highly recommend it. This one is on DVD. Uh, I'm going to break it down a little bit here for you. So it comes in... Um, I got mine at Walmart, as I said the other day, about 30 bucks, which is a great deal for the entire series. Mine came with a little slip cover. It does have a little bit of like shelfware damage on it, but that's that's to be expected. So it has a nice slip cover on it. I did kind of like that touch. These sets I'm a big fan of. I wish it would have been remastered and put on Blu-ray instead of remastered and put on DVD. But like I said, sometimes there's just not available. We take what we can get. Um, and this set is one of those sets that I was thankful that I did get it. I have enjoyed it. It is a very nice set, but it's not available on Blu-ray. Um, they remastered this set as well as some of their other Western sets, released them on these complete series, basically they call mini epic box sets that have the entire series in one case. And I do like that. Um, I didn't want to have, you know, five, six, seven, eight different DVD cases. Um, I like having these in this entire epic pack. Just all one, you have it entire series is right here. Um, so I do say that Paramount and CBS DVD did a great job releasing this set in one big set. I do like these epic packs. So I'm gonna break this down a little more for you as you can see here. Um, it's clear uh, on the sides. It does look very nice obviously. And then you open it up and again it's a big set so you kind of got to open it carefully because you don't want your leaflets that are holding your discs to come flying out. Um, it's got a picture of Paladin right in the middle. I did like that. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, a lot of people didn't know this, but in the show, uh, it looks like he's wearing black. It wasn't black. Uh, it was actually dark navy blue. Um, but because it was in black and white and the show was filmed in black and white, it came across as very deep and inky black. Um, and they did a good job on these DVD sets when you're playing it and watching it. And I'm going to give you guys some actual screenshots and things I'll put up here as we're going along. Um, it looks really good. Uh, for a DVD, it surprised me because, you know, a lot of my stuff, I, I love the Blu-ray, how crisp and clear it is. But so far, a lot of these CBS remasters that they've been releasing on DVD, um, Gunsmoke, Have Gun Will Travel, and I'm going to get to some of those later on as well. Um, but... They've done a really good job even releasing it on DVD by not shoving too many episodes on a DVD, keeping them so that they're not getting compressed really far down. Um, and there have been some sets that I've reviewed that, that did get pretty bad compressed. Um, but this set itself looks really good. Um, when you got it on your TV, 
No, it's not going to be Blu-ray quality where everything's, you know, perfectly sharp lines, but you're going to see that it does look really well. Um, and owning the entire series is very, very nice. Um, again, discs are in these leaflet things here. Um, downside is, and you might be able to see this, the discs themselves, as you can see, are stacked on top of each other. Um, I'm not a fan of that um, with DVDs. Blu-rays, you can get away with it. Uh, DVDs are risky business, I'll say, when you do it that way, because as you all know, DVDs scratch extremely easy, and then you have to go through the process of trying to get a replacement from CBS if your disc is scratched. Um, for my set, um, I went to Walmart and kind of picked through them, and you could hear like a couple of them had loose discs in them. I obviously didn't pick those, so I picked the one that didn't have any loose discs when I got home. Uh, there were some minor scuffs on one of the discs, but it wasn't anything that I couldn't get out with one of those nice microfiber cloths that I just kind of, uh, you know, use some moisture, get some on there, and then just use the microfiber cloth and I got it off and it seemed to be fine. Um, so the set itself uh, does come, big set, in these leaflets with the discs stacked on top of each other. But that's the only way that they could feasibly, and I get it, stick it in one of these Epic Pack boxes. So it is the trade-off. Um, I don't want a dozen DVD cases lying around. So you got to settle for that they're going to be stacked on top of each other. And to me, in my case, I'll take that trade off. I'll take the trade off of getting it all in one giant box set. Nice thing is, is it does snap together nice too. When you get it back together, and then it's in this giant box. So when you have it sitting there, you're going to see have gun will travel. Um, and I think that's nice. Not having 20 different cases. It's just right here. Um, set itself and the box itself, I didn't have any damage on it. Um, there's obviously his epic uh, insignia, Paladin's insignia, but anyhow, um, I did like that. Uh, I hadn't seen this series before and I started watching it and I really enjoyed it. The acting's well done in it, it's not overdone, uh, and each story keeps itself pretty shortly paced, so that way it keeps the show moving. Um, you're not sitting there too long saying, oh, hey, you know, this episode's not that great. It keeps it moving along. Um, and, I, and you go to the next episode and you kind of find yourself watching several episodes in a row because they keep them short enough pace that they're they're good. You kind of get the meat of it. You get down the story and then it's on to the next one. Um, so I've enjoyed that. The character of Paladin um, and things like that, I, I really enjoyed that. It's a unique idea for them to make a Western instead of just about a town or, um, you know, let's say it's about a U.S. Marshal. This guy isn't, he's not a U.S. Marshal. He's not, um, sometimes he runs into U.S. Marshals and he'll help them or he won't help them if they're corrupt or something like that. Uh, but I've enjoyed it. It's a wholesome show. Um, I haven't run into anything that I thought was, hey, I really didn't like that at all. It, it's done a great job. Um, I do like Richard Boone as Paladin. Um, I think Richard Boone does a great job as Paladin. The cinematography of it's kind of unique too because every episode usually starts with obviously like you see like his gun belt and then he's pulling his gun out and saying something to the screen that kind of applies to the episode and then later on you kind of find out what that had to do with and it kind of it's got a unique feel to it that I enjoy. I would recommend it. Um, obviously I wish it would have been Blu-ray. It's not but it is a DVD set that I felt like, you know, if you go to your store and you can find this or you're buying it online um, and you get one, go through your discs, make sure you don't have any that are scratched or um, damaged that you might need to get replaced. But as far as my set has been, um, I didn't have any. I just went and picked one out that didn't have any rattling in it. That wasn't something that was major damage to it. But the remaster of these, um, as clear as we're going to get, um, as far as we understand. They're, they don't have plans, CBS and Paramount don't have plans that we know of that they're planning on releasing this set in a Blu-ray set, which is why they re-released it after they'd released all the individual DVD sets in a Epic Pack box set, a mini Epic Pack box set that it's all in here. I like that better. I'm, I personally would rather everything on Blu-ray, but since it's not, the way I would like to buy my DVDs would be like this. In a box set that it's all together, you set it on your shelf, it's all right there. You want to watch the show, you grab one thing, it's all right there. The screenshots I'm going to give you too, you'll see um, it does look uh, nice. Uh, no, it's not going to be like some of the Blu-ray sets I've re reviewed, but as far as a DVD and a remaster has gone, I have seen a lot of DVDs and I have a lot of DVDs that honestly look horrible. Um, when you upgrade them onto a 4K TV or even a 1080p and above TV, um, if you're getting something, a Blu-ray player that's upgrading it, a lot of times a lot of DVDs look really bad. Um, this one looks pretty decent. Um, I'd say as far as score goes for this one, I'm going to be right at about the 7.5. Um, 
I, I can't give it an eight. I was going to, but the hard thing is, is again, it's not a Blu-ray. So it's hard for me because if they would have put this on a Blu-ray set and remastered it for Blu-ray, I'd say, hey, you know what? This is a 8.0 or 8.5, something like that, but it, it's not. It, it's a 7.5, it's on DVD. Um, but as far as DVDs go, it, it does look great. It's about as close as you can get to a Blu-ray quality without stepping into Blu-ray. So that, that is the nice thing about the DVD. It's not a junky DVD. The, you know, when you first pull up the menus, <laughs> and I'll give you a screenshot of this here. First pull up some of the menus um, for each season. They do look pretty old. Like you're like, you know, that doesn't look that great. But when you start playing the episodes, I, it actually ended up being a lot nicer looking. Um, and I was very thankful for that because when I first pulled up the menus, I thought, wow, I thought, man, this set's going to look bad. Um, but it didn't. It looked great once I actually uh, started playing the show. The blacks are uh, pretty inky. They're, they look real nice and dark if you have your TV set up that way. So that way the darks and then the contrast looks real nice. Um, so overall, I, I was impressed with the set. I love having the complete series, as you probably all well know. I love getting complete uh, TV series or movie sets. That is a big thing for me. And this set did fill that um, for me and it, it looks great. So you just pop it in uh, Blu-ray um, upscale. If you have a Blu-ray player that does upscale DVD content, um, I would definitely suggest making sure that's set up to present the picture quality the best. If you do that correctly and you go in there, it, it does look very good, very good. So 7.5 for this set, um, I, I did like it. I, I like the story, I like the characters. Do wish it was on Blu-ray and do wish it was remastered on Blu-ray, but remastered DVD is about as good as we're gonna get for now. And like I said, I wanna own physically these items because like we've talked about, manufacturers might be cutting back on what they're going to be giving us in physical content as time goes on. And we already know they're cutting back, but they might be cutting back more as time goes on. So I want to own what I can of the show. So that way my collection I have of those shows. And, and I suggest if you're wanting to do the same thing, this one was um, a good price. Uh, you can get the whole series for roughly about 29, 39 bucks, depending on uh, where you live or where your Walmart is. But that is where I found it. Um, most other places have it, uh, Best Buy, Amazon, things like that. And they're pretty much all around the same price too. So you can get yourself a set of that anywhere you go. Um, the set itself though, if you do have it shipped, uh, do keep in mind when you do get the set, you are gonna wanna open it up and make sure that one wasn't any loose discs and that it's not broken. Uh, because with DVDs, they can come out easily. And then once they get scratched, you're gonna have a hard time playing it. Uh, so you do want to go through and check your discs. That is something I always recommend to everybody. I do that with every DVD set that I ever get. Um, I go through and check the discs and make sure that they're not scratched. That way I know my set, by the time I get to that disc, it's not, oh, now I found a scratch and it's too late to do anything. Uh, you do want to check it. Otherwise, this set I do recommend, 7.5. Um, you can pick this set up for yourself. Uh, it is enjoyable if you like Westerns. If you haven't heard of the show before um, and you like things like Gunsmoke or Bonanza, there's Wild Wild West, the TV series. There's a bunch of them that I have. Um, this one I've actually really enjoyed. Um, it's a little bit different of a, a show, um, but very enjoyable. Um, I recommend it. I recommend you getting it yourself so you have the complete series yourself and you don't have to try to wait for uh, digital or something to get it uh, so that way you can watch. Any questions, comments, please comment below. Um, I do appreciate your time today. Thanks so much for joining me again. I've really enjoyed this um, and I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, again, please like, comment, subscribe. Next time we'll be bringing another review of another good product to you. Um, please join me again next time. I hope you all have a blessed day. Please like, subscribe.